Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make plantain suya. So, so tasty and delicious. If you're that type that doesn't like meat, if you're not a fan of meat or you're vegetarian, this recipe is for you. It tastes just like suya. You wouldn't even know that it's not made with meat. It's made with plantain and it tastes just like suya. So if you're interested to learn how I made this, please keep watching. If you're new here, you've not subscribed, please hit that button and subscribe. Also leave your comment and give this video a thumbs up. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload new video, you're not going to miss out. Let's get into the cooking action. To make plantain suya, you're going to need three green plantain. Wash and clean. I've washed the plantain off camera to save time. Next step is to peel off the skin of the plantain. To do that, I'm going to use a sharp knife. I'm going to trim off the head, trim off the bottom. Then with the knife, I'm going to cut down. I cut about four places for easy peeling. After that, I'm going to use a knife and peel off the skin of the plantain. You can also use your hand or your finger, whichever one that is comfortable for you. And to peel the skin of the green plantain is a bit tricky because the skin is harder. So I'm going to be using the knife and my hand. Just watch the video, you understand it better. That's one plantain ready. I'm going to peel the rest off camera. Next is to slice the plantain into this shape. I'm not very sure what the shape is called, but that's the shape you should slice or cut the plantain. To stop the plantain suya from drying out in the oven while baking, I'm going to apply light olive oil on the plantain. And when doing this, you have to be generous with the light olive oil. You have to really, really apply a lot. Make sure that the plantain is covered with the light olive oil. You can also use vegetable oil or you can use olive oil. Next ingredient is 4 tablespoons of suya spice, 1 teaspoon of chicken seasoning, 1 tablespoon of onion powder, and 1 teaspoon of smoked paprika, and 1 teaspoon of 4 seasoning pepper corn, and 1 teaspoon of salt. Next, I'm going to mix in a clean bowl. I'm adding the suya spice. After adding the suya spice, I'm adding the onion powder, paprika, pepper, salt, and chicken seasoning. It's important that you use all of these that I mentioned. You can get them in any local food shop around you. But the suya spice, you have to go to an African shop. Not Asian shop, African shop, you're going to get suya spice. Suya spice is made with quili quili and other special ingredients. After mixing until it's well combined, next, sprinkle the suya mix on top of the plantain. And you can add and add more and more. You have to make sure that the plantain is covered with the suya spice. Add more and mix it together, making sure that it's well, well combined. You want to make sure that the surface, front and back, is covered with the suya spice.
Once you've achieved this, making sure that the plantain is covered with the seal spice, the next step is to line a baking tray or a baking rag with foil paper, then parchment paper on top. Next, place your plantain suya on top of the baking rag. Please make sure that you place them like this, flat. You don't want any plantain on top of each other. To stop the plantain suya from drying out in the oven when baking, I'm going to spray cooking oil. And with the cooking oil, I'm going to be generous with this. Please remember you have to use cooking oil. And the reason why I'm using the spraying cooking oil is that if you use a brush to brush the surface of the plantain suya, it's going to take off some of the suya spice. So you don't want that. The best, best is to use the spraying oil. So now I'm transferring to a preheated oven. 160 degree for at least 25 minutes to 30 minutes depending on your oven after baking for half an hour 30 minutes please remember 160 degree you don't want to bake this on a high heat i'm going to show you what the inside look like look at that yummy yummy it just tastes like you're eating suya you wouldn't even taste the plantain as I said before, if you're that type that is vegetarian, you don't like meat, or you're trying to reduce the meat intake, this is the best recipe for you. This is how to make your suya now. I hope you try this, and if you do try it, please tag me on Instagram, continentalfood.cake. You can also tag me on YouTube. Let me know if you're going to be trying this. Have you tried this before? Is it new to you? Is it old to you? Let me know in the comment section. And when are you going to be trying it? Please let me know. If you're new here, please hit that button and subscribe. To all my returning subscribers that come back to watch my video, you don't know how I love you. I love you so much, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you all and I will see you in another one. Bye-bye.